going to see the debutantes here at the big punk rock reunion. So check it out, man. This is going to be our second day of our festival, and what we have is this is more of the art rock experimental side of things, kind of like you'd see Tuxedo Moon and that sort of genre back in the old days. Yesterday was much more of a hardcore and metal sort of sound. So today is going to be much more experimental and laid back. So, uh, except there are a few moments that are going to be a little bit high pitched, which is like Gimme Show, uh, uh, Gimme Danger, which was our All Stooges cover band, which was wonderful. Uh, Thrill of the Pole is going to be coming on. Uh, you know, the unofficials will be playing today with some common friends of yours and mine. Uh, and so it's going to be absolutely a wonderful, wonderful show. So we're looking forward to having uh, not just your set, but we have another film crew here as well that has done stem to stern coverage nice. of like, like a crew of like eight people so so they got everything infrared x-ray <laughs> cameras that take pictures of you with your clothes off just like at the airport so it's fantastic you know some people would surprise you when you see those films believe me <laughs> yes, I bet, I bet. endowments are unequally distributed it seems in nature <laughs> My name is Jack Rabbit. I'm from New York City. Yeah, all right. New I'm York probably the only person who flew all the way here to, to see this thing from that far away. Wow, New York City has one of the best punk scenes ever. Yeah, and that was just the first one. We had two more after that, too, that no one ever talks about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you always dug the San Francisco punk scene? Well, we were following it through uh, Search and Destroy uh -huh. and Slash. Wow. We, we were the New York kids who really wanted to know what was going on here because we thought the Avengers were astonishing. Oh, yeah, I love the Avengers. And the Dills and uh, the Ops and the Mutants and all that stuff. And there was yeah. very few recordings, so we had to trade, like, bootleg tapes with people out here. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember doing that stuff myself. And um, I've been doing a magazine called Big Takeover for 33 years, and I think my hero was Vale when I was watching, when I was reading Search and Destroy. Oh, so 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 is this gonna be covered in your magazine? Well, I I flew, actually interviewed him, did a two-part story on him about six seven years ago, and I've been friends with him ever since. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Sometimes you you hit it up when you interview somebody, you become uh, free, you become well, friends for life with them, you know. 25 years, I didn't want to meet my hero, you know, I didn't want to be yeah. disappointed or whatever the cliche uh, is, but. Sometimes you got it, you know? Yeah. I mean, there was so few recordings, and other than Target Video, which hadn't come out on VHS yet, there was no other way to follow what was going on here other than his magazine. A lot of the bands like the Avengers and Victims and, you know, Crime, they never even freaking crossed the Rockies, right? So, so you've been here all weekend checking out, checking out all the bands? Yeah, I wanted to come last year, but I have two small children, and it, I wasn't permitted. <laughs> how, how you like it this year? I'm having a blast. I really am. I like talking to all the people. Yeah. You know, Vale introduced me to some of the people that I've known only through his magazine and stuff. And and uh, well, I've known I've known Jack Grisham from TSOL for 32 years because they came to New York quite often. And I just love the punk rock people, man. All right. They're, it was the last scene before MTV and the last scene before the internet. As a result, it wasn't like documented so uh, incredibly that it didn't have a chance to come to its full fruition. Everything else is nipped in the bud right now because it gets hyper-documented. Yes. It's too bad. We got Bob Click of the Lude here. What's up, brother? Oh, not much. Just enjoying the event. Right on. Did you, did you get to play this event? Yeah, I played twice. I played it early this morning, but I played last night with the Rubber City Rebels. And so the, the loot's still going. What's up? I haven't heard um, from the loot in a while. We, uh, I took, I got, I was sick. I had, a, I had some heart trouble, um, which I got fixed. Uh, but so now I'm feeling a lot better. And uh, we took some time off, and we were in fact. Aiming at this show, I had to do a lot of work. I'm one of the bookers for this show, and also uh, playing, so I I was busy. But now I'm gonna start. We're gonna start doing some lewd stuff. Again. Cool. So Seth and I have plans. All right, all right, cool, cool. We're looking forward to that. We'll enjoy the rest of the show, man. Yeah, you too. Thank you. <laughs> No, 
Live. I'm Danny. This is Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Hey, not much. Just glad to be here at the uh, reunion or homecoming. Many, many great memories from the, the days from the Temple Beautiful and uh, various uh, 10th Street Hall, Berkeley, International Cafe. I mean, there were all these places where we just would pop up and put on these shows. And, and most of these bands are just so fucking amazing. Paul Ratt, uh, legendary uh, <laughs> in many ways, good and bad. Oh, my God. I read things about him. Oh, well. Then uh, I go, really? I mean, I knew he going to. Well, anyway. Yeah, so, so but, got, it was good old days, man. We just fucking rocked. And, uh, I mean, it's just the temple. One of the most amazing spaces. It was right over by the... Uh, well, of course, anybody who's going to see this probably knows where it was. Next to the Fillmore and the People's Temple. Great, famous, infamous block. And it was this beautiful place with uh, stained glass. It was brought around from the horn from Israel before the earthquake. And it was this gorgeous place. And then we got kicked out because all the posers showed up and started smashing that beautiful glass and putting holes in the walls, thinking that was punk. And then we left, and that's when we started moving all over the shit, you know. So this could be a reality check? Of course, of course. All right. All right, anyway, I don't know what else to say, but it was it's, it's really cool, and everybody, it's just great to see everybody. <laughs> First day of school, I lost my front teeth. Boys beat me up, cause I wasn't one of them. I fought till I bled, and everyone was scared. Yeah, everyone was scared. We are at the 2013 so-called punk homecoming which was actually organized by a bunch by a bunch of people who were there in the 70s and I happen to know a bunch of them and this is like I wish they would do this every year Fine and dandy. Nice. Went really good. Good, good. Socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's got this. Yeah. Oh, the gang's all here. Yes. <laughs> How are you? Happy not crappy, baby. All right. We like that. Punk rock in the day away. Homecoming. It's homie coming. Homie coming. Homecoming. <laughs> Definitely homie coming. Oh yeah, homie gonna come hard tonight with all these great bands, all these great people, reuniting, remembering, reweaving the stories. It's like, you're still alive? How fun is that? Yeah, baby. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, debutante's coming on soon. I'm going to be emceeing. They call me Shamama. Woo! I'm here. I emceed yesterday. Enjoyed it. Ginger Coyote and I go way back. Punk Globe Magazine, 36 years. Just had their anniversary. They're still going to have a surprise guest with them. Ooh. And as always, we'll be as rockish and as rambunctious as possible. It is true that, you know, just about everybody who's anybody has been a white trash debutante. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm proud to say. Margaret Cho used to be a white trash debutante. So Siobhan Lowe's an honorary white trash debutante. <laughs> Love you long time. Love you long time. I would like to announce the king and queen of homecoming 2013, Cecilia Kuhn and Eddie Valentine. Get up here and get your crowns, baby. Right here is royalty. Cecilia, we're down on our knees. Away, away. Right here. Hey. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Swing. Swing. 
Oh, okay. I give you Eddie. And Cecilia, you're the coming king and queen 2013. Say it like a man. We are the big team. Give it up for love. Let's hear it. We've got a moment here. And what, what can you say that it's really good to see a lot of people here that I haven't seen in years, and those of us who are still alive, it's, it's awesome. Are you enjoying the punk reunion? Uh, yeah. yeah man. Are you, are you reunion, are you reunionizing with other punks? Yeah, we played yesterday. I'm in Frightwig. Oh, hey, Frightwig. Recognize me. Oh, we weren't here last night. Yeah, I'm here today now. It's very cool. My old roommate. Oh, nice. <laughs> and friends. So what else has been Fright Week been doing? Is it just one off or have you been playing? We're playing in Texas at the MeowCon. We're going to have a be on a panel. A meow con? Yeah, female musicians united. Susie Quattro is the keynote speaker, and they asked us to play, so that's her next show. No, we're called the unofficials. We can't. We cannot. We cannot call ourselves the offs. Yeah. Never thought I'd be here. But here you are. Yeah. No kidding. Have you gotten Raymond yet? A little bit. Oh, okay. Here, can I... oh, there he... He's mopping. Get him mopping. <laughs> there you go. There we go. No, no, no. Keep, keep doing hey, flavors. Man. Hey, my ride's here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, fun filled affair, huh? Yes. My favorite time of year. There were a lot of. Bit of controversy here. SF scene in the 70s was better than uh, New York. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the CBGB scene pretty much petered out. And then LA and San Francisco and Vancouver scenes came up. So it was one went down, the other one up. This is gone now, yeah, for sure. It, it wasn't like following New York or anything. I, I heard, no, I heard, I heard that it got sold, but I thought they would keep the name. What are you guys up to here? What's going on here at the Punk Reunion? Oh my God! What's up? What's, What's up, up, man? What's the apps, man? All right, here. It's, it's a reunion, I hear. It is a fucking reunion of some sort. Of some yes, sort. it is. Yes, it's it is. It's a sordid dichotomy. It's a sordid dichotomy of uh, what, uh, yeah, what is wrong with fucking humanity these days. <laughs> what is wrong with Canada? Something is definitely wrong with Canada because the Stanley so, so Cup is to, going back there next year. So we have to come down here and spread our shit around. You know what I mean? <laughs> So how's it been so far? It's been really good. It's been really good. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a blast actually. Fucking run into a lot of people I haven't seen for years down here. You know, it's it's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, cool. What have you been doing yourself? Oh, playing, diddling, fucking around. <laughs> generally, generally harassing people like I usually do. Nice, know. nice. The usual shit. The usual rampage shit. But you know, playing jokes on Pinhead. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like you know, fucking with your bandmates and having a good time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, aside from that, no, I've. I've been on and off like since uh, you know years ago since we first started coming down here I've been through the fucking metal scene back in back in DOA out of DOA back in DOA back into the metal scene back you know all over fucking I've just been all over the map you know but I haven't stopped touring and you know which is great so I fucking constantly running into people it's just that I haven't been in San Francisco uh, very like over the last 20 years it's bizarre. I, you know, maybe through, uh, twice in 20 years, I've, I've been into Frisco. I mean, I've been close. We played Berkeley, we played Oakland, we played you know, Palo Alto, we played, but never in, in, in Frisco. It's just really weird. We always seem to avoid Frisco on the tours, right? You know. So it's really cool to be back and just have some fun, you know, and hook up with hook up with old people, you know. Good time. We'll catch up with you more later. You got it. Poppins of many bands, Scotty Poppins of many bands, including Thrill of the Pull, Swoon, and 
Off the Rose, Pink Snack. Pink Snack, that was my high school group. <laughs> We're trying to come up with a name. What do we like to do? But what are you really here for today? I'm really here, I'm really here for the relationships. <laughs> the music is great, but really it's all about the relationships. Weren't you talking about ChristianMingle.com earlier? Can you tell us about your involvement and perhaps, you know, developing of this website? When I say relationships, I mean getting a date and getting laid. Aren't you a married man? Didn't you talk about ChristianMingle.com? No, that was Robert. That was Robert. No, that was ChristianPervertedSex.com. <laughs> right, that was ChristianPervertedSex.com. I like punk rock. Yeah, I mean, it's complex, yeah. like complex like actually. Yeah, everybody's older than I mean, as about tenants. They're, they're like younger, but now they're so old. They're oh, they're so young old that they're old as me, but young old as me. Yeah, I'm joking. It's cool. Well, that's right. We still acting sexy. I love it, man. I want to say to all of you that the one thing that has been true for me since 1977 is that this is the only community I ever had. The only family that I ever had. And you're still my family and you're still my community. So tonight they've asked me, and God knows why, but they've asked me to lead you in this little... Yeah, because I have a loud voice, that's it. Lead you in this ceremony, and what we're going to do is we're going to light things on fire, and that I can kind of relate to. Fire. 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 Do not light the white fabric, only the black square in the center. Michael, if you get some shots, we'll see. I've had it 20 years, and now I just visit people and interrupt their show. That's all it for the punk extravaganza. Uh, you know, the offs were off, and uh, the monks ruled, and nostalgia was king. So, uh, no cost to you, the video viewer, and oh, the rose will be no cost to me. I got free food. Somebody even bought me a drink. Michael bought me a drink. So, you know, things are looking up as opposed to looking down as they usually are. So, stay tuned. The other check's coming out in the front, the Pump Festival. And, uh, I don't know. Just keep watching or send me money or buy me a hamburger. I don't know, something.